Something that can occur regularly with characters is that you will need to have multiple palettes for the same character. An easy example of this would be something like a character who needs to be visible during the day or during the night and will need a darker palette during the night and a brighter palette during the day. That is of course an easy example but there are plenty of other times in which you will need a specific palette for that scene. Very often this is not going to be a single change where you are adjusting a single color but it's going to be something which will occur over multiple scenes. So instead of adjusting the color on a scene by scene basis with effects, it's easier to have a set of palettes which you can use and apply those on those scenes. Fortunately it's easy to do this in OpenTunes and ironically it is done through the effects tree and to do this you use the tunes level node external palette. So we'll open the schematic and go to the FX nodes and then what I've done is I've made a copy of one of the frames of my character and I've given it a different palette. So when I go to frame 1, you'll see that I now have a darker palette for the character. And what I'm going to do with the drawing is that I'm going to drive the palette colors of the primary animation with this drawing's palette. First thing I'm going to do is just quickly isolate the columns for the palette and for the animation. Then I'm going to right click, go to Add FX, Tunes Level and External Palette to get the external palette node. I'm then going to plug the original animation into Source and the new palette into palette. Finally, I will plug that back into the X sheet. The next step would be to extend the level which you are using as the palette as far as is needed in the scene. I'm then going to do a preview render and you'll see that the scene is now using the new palette. It's possible to use multiple levels with different palettes on the same column. In this scene I'm only going to use one palette and I'm going to extend that palette to the length of the scene but there's nothing preventing you from using multiple palettes. One thing to pay attention to when using replacement palettes is the number of colors. In this case I've used three colors for the replacement palette but if we go back to the original palette we will see that the original palette actually had five colors. Now if we preview render this we will see that the colors that were missing from the palette all show up as red. The colors that are showing up in red are an indication that OpenTunes is not finding those colors in the replacement palette. In this case I'm not really going to need those colors so it doesn't really matter but it is something to pay attention to before you make your replacement palettes. The final thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to make an effect with this mat over here. So I'm going to go to FX mat and I'm going to get mat in node and then I'm going to plug the mat into the mat port and I'm going to plug 
my effect into the source. Then I'm going to go to layer blending and I'm going to get an over node and I'm then going to put my effect in source 1 and I'm going to plug my original animation in source 2 and this will then be plugged into the X sheet. And then I will remove the mat from being rendered in the X sheet. And I'll neaten it up a little bit. And finally I'll get it to a place where I can test and I'll see that I've got my nodes the wrong way around and what I actually need is a mat out and not a mat in node. So I'll just replace the mat node and then test again. Then I will render the scene. OK, so our render is finished. And then we'll just play the render. We'll see that the character should pass from one palette to another, from the dark palette to the light palette. Then, in order to make the effect a little bit more subtle, I'm just going to add a blur to the mat, and, the, and I'm going to give the blur a reasonably high value so that it is pretty extreme, and then once that is finished, we can render again. Then we'll have them coming out of the dark again and into the light. Then one final version with a darker palette to make the effect a little bit more obvious.